a good start. You know, we got some uh, some good uh, performances by the vets. Some young guys look good, but we got to got to understand tempo a little better. Uh, you know, we're playing with fast pace, and, and that's the nature of the game anymore. There's very few teams in the country that don't play tempo offense, and so we've got to do a better job with some of our young guys and new guys understanding that tempo. It's you got to feel good though, uh, even with the new offensive coordinator, that you don't have to reboot all the lingo and everything. Right, that was uh, really a, <clears throat> a big factor in. And making decisions, making sure we kept continuity and, and we were able to do that. Could you see a difference this time <coughs> today than you did this time last year, just with the continuity and the, and the confidence of the players? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, it was, uh, we had much more uh, offense in on day one than we did last year. And uh, it was a cleaner practice than, uh, than it was last year in the first day. Was Bubba Poole taking some reps there with the receivers? Yeah, Bubba's going to be a, a, a dual threat guy for us to play uh, in the backfield as well as be uh, in the slot. What did you see from the quarterbacks? <clears throat> well, Travis has taken the majority of the reps with the ones. The, the, uh, the rest of the reps are being evenly distributed. That will go on throughout the first week. Uh, then we'll make some decisions after week one and uh, thin the herd a little bit and uh, continue just to concentrate on it until we get to the you know, yeah, I think we would like to come out with the one, two, and three uh, after spring balls. Travis has known A-Rod since his recruiting days. He right. recruited him. Do you think that I could help him in terms of familiarity? Yeah, I think it helped him last year. You know, I think he, you know, he finished strong. He was MVP of the bowl game, obviously, so we had some, some really good games towards the end of the season. And, and uh, I think that uh, there's good chemistry between those two guys. You're a little grayer this year. Is it a tough offseason? <laughs> Kiss my what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look good, though. Yeah, okay, well, thanks. You know, Travis got his hair. Are you going to let the beard grow for spring? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to lose. You always yeah. seem to have a short list of things. Do you, what's on your agenda? What kind of things are nagging at you this camp? Well, it's always a, a fundamental and technique uh, time of the year in spring ball, making sure we focus on that. We're not here to out-scheme each other. We're here to uh, make each player you know, better at what they're doing. We're not here to draw up 10 blitzes. We're not here to become better blitzers, that type of thing. And so uh, from, a, from a schematic standpoint, a technique fundamental standpoint, that's the objective. Uh, got some good battles going on. Uh, the corner opposite Dominic Alford, that's, uh, that's going to be a good battle. Reggie Porter had a good day. The uh, safety spot opposite Devin Carter is another job that's up in the air. Uh, the defensive end spot. Uh, to fill Nate Orchard's shoes, you know, for Nike and uh, Peter, Tom Wick, will have a good battle there. The right tackle spot on offense, uh, Jackson Barton and uh, Sam Teddy are, are waging a battle there. And uh, the receiver court, a lot of young, new faces at the receiver court. Do you have speed to replace that that you lost with Dress? In it we will court? by the time we get uh, everybody here. You know, it's not all here yet. We have a bunch of guys that will be coming in June. A couple of JC players, that actually three JC players that are uh, uh, really fast kids. And, and so by the time we get everything in place for fall camp, we feel like we're in good shape.